Another customer with a complaint against Cable One Internet service. And if you or your kids stream TV or movies, play online video games, and spend a lot of time browsing, you may not be getting what you're paying for. A whistleblower contacted us after getting multiple notices that he hit his data cap with his Cable One service, and they threatened to cancel service or force him to upgrade and pay more money. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric breaks down what you need to look at when you're buying Internet. They're... Uh generally the most disliked companies in the, in the country, um, but I think that that's deserved. I think it's an earned reputation. Eric Olson is just like any other young person today. He uses the internet a lot. He had few options and went with Cable One, making sure to ask about any limits with usage. Up until just recently, I was not aware that I had a data cap at all. And then I got a notice that I had exceeded my data cap. Olson says he has a basic plan from Cable One, and his data is capped at 300 gigabytes per month. According to a 2014 study, the average cord-cutting household uses 212 gigabytes per month. Olson got a notice saying he had exceeded his cap, so he called customer service. They insisted that they had always had a data cap, um, didn't really give me any other information, bounced me between departments, um, nobody could explain really how the data cap worked, how the you know, anything, any details about it. So why is this important for you to know? Because every time you log onto your home Wi-Fi, you're using data. The web pages that start playing a video when you load the page automatically, um, ads that pop up, things that happen in the background, Windows automatic updates. Um, most consoles have an automatic update. A lot of them will update. You, you go to play a game you haven't played in a while, the console updates everything first. Steam updates everything. Um, you know, I want to play a computer game with some friends. Some of those games are 10 gigabytes plus. You got four of us sitting around want to play the game. We all have to install it and download it. Um, watching Netflix, streaming HD video. Cable One's answer is outlined in the Internet Acceptable Use Policy. It says Cable One tracks usage with traffic management software and that excessive users could negatively impact the service provided to other customers. It warns that if you exceed that data plan three or more times in a year, you will be forced to upgrade to a plan with more data, or your service could be shut off at any time without notice. Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. This policy went into effect for Cable One Internet users back in October. CenturyLink Internet caps their data plans at 250 gigabytes per month. Most everyone has